Initially deemed as a guest on the first season of the Lifetime series Little Women Atlanta, Ms. Juicy Baby then went on to become a full-time cast member for its next five seasons, garnering a huge following in the process. Hence, last year when the shocking news surfaced that she experienced a major medical emergency that led to her being rushed to the hospital, people were naturally concerned for her well-being. So how has the reality star been coping since? We've got all the details for you. The talented personality's life turned upside down when she suffered a serious stroke in April 2022. After being in intensive care for days, she was transferred out of the high-risk unit, but had a long road of recovery ahead of her. As many of you know, Ms. Juicy is an amazing actress, TV personality, and host. However, this journey and the journey ahead will not be easy, her agency wrote in a statement on Instagram. Ms. Juicy is a very private person and wants everyone to know she's fighting and ready to go home. She wants to thank her fans for showing so much love and keeping her in their prayers, the statement concluded. It was also disclosed that her sister, Tanya Evans, launched a GoFundMe to help pay for her healthcare costs, successfully raising almost $20,000. Although we don't have a definitive date of when she will be out of the hospital and be able to go back to work, we do need your help until she recovers. Whatever you can give, we would deeply appreciate it. Thank you so much for keeping her and us in all your prayers. We're truly thankful, the statement read. Since the incident, the Lifetime star, who was born Shirlene Pearson, has focused on improving her health, exercising, and maintaining a healthy lifestyle. After getting discharged from the hospital, she gave a health update to her well-wishers. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm back, she said. I'm not at 100%, but I'm still healing, the Texas native added. This is a video to let all my fans, all my supporters, to let you guys know that I have been released from the hospital. I'm at home now. She further revealed that she was admitted to the hospital in April last year after the stroke resulted in a brain bleed, which then caused memory loss. She reportedly had to undergo speech therapy as she had to learn everything all over again. The way it affected me, I couldn't remember anything. Not one thing. I can't even drive right now. I have to learn how to do a lot of things all over again. Even brushing my teeth. Things that we take for granted. That we think just come natural. I was about to have a fit when I was in the hospital because I couldn't even drink my water, she explained. In the two-part video posted last year in May, she detailed her recovery in the ICU, which included being fed through a tube. I had to learn how to walk, learn how to talk, learn how to eat, learn how to swallow, a lot of things, she shared. She thanked her fans for their support, as well as her family members who nursed her back to good health. She also expressed her appreciation for those who contributed to her GoFundMe page and helped her in paying her hospital bills, as she was unable to work and had no money coming in. As for her recovery, she's taking it easy and is in no rush to do anything, saying, I'll be back at 100% when the time is right, but I can't push it and I can't rush it. I love you guys. To mark one anniversary of the life-altering experience, the reality star took to Instagram this May and wrote in part, it's been a year since my stroke. It's still a day-to-day -day process. Overall, I feel great. I know you covered me and still is covering me. Thank you. I'll never be able to express how extremely grateful I am. So I pray to you every day. Thank you. It's great to see Miss Juicy on her healing journey while she continues to inspire everyone around her. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.